Dear friends, today we will take a look at another paper company, Kuantum Papers Limited. K U A N T U M, Kuantum Papers Limited. This has also performed well during the latest quarter. Uh, it is also in the business of uh, product producing and marketing of wood free writing and uh, uh, printing paper. So it's one of the largest fully integrated agro based paper manufacturer in India committed to manufacturing wood free high quality maplito, cream wove, copier and specialty papers. Uh, it offers different types of products. <clears throat> These products are extensively used in the printing of books, notebooks, office stationery, etc. It's now foraying into new specialty products like food grade, uh, OGR, cup stock base, tissue paper and also has several products under development. The company primarily operates in the domestic market with 85% of revenues coming from India. 15% from outside like uh, Nepal. <clears throat> the clientele includes Walmart, McGraw Hill, Kokyo, Mumbai, Thomson, Lotus Global, Navneet Publications, Oxford University Press, Macmillan etc. <clears throat> it has a full-fledged uh, integrated manufacturing facility located in Punjab with a production capacity of 1,64,250 with four paper machines, agro and wood-based pulping facility and a cogeneration plant and chemical recovery plant. The pulping facility has a total capacity of 380 tons per day. Uh, <coughs> paper machines, there are four paper machines with a total production capacity of 450 tons per day. Chemical recovery plant is there, uh, 700 uh, solid TPA capacity, cogeneration power plant is there. Uh, from its own turbines and boilers. Then uh, if you look at the, the distribution network, 90 plus dealers are there. Long standing relationship with dealers, many associated with the company for over three decades. So reliable dealers are there. The company has a technical collaboration with specialty minerals of USA. For a first of its kind backward integration PCC plant. It has collaboration with the Tanovis AG for a full scale uh, uh, lignin precipitation system. The company has uh, approved the raising of funds uh, amounting to about 100 crores uh, from NCDs, non cumulative debentures. The CAPEX projects currently being uh, uh, <coughs> implemented involve a total capital outlay of 444 crores towards uh, backward integration and modernization of its pulping facilities. Chemical recovery plant and a captive power generation plant were commissioned in March 2021, delayed from proposed commissioning in 2020 itself. You know, pandemic was there, COVID, so because of that there were delays. <clears throat> the company has fixed deposits of about 35 crores. The negative side of the company is uh, huge pledging. After unpledging 3.58% in the last quarter, the total pledge now stands at 76.5% of its holdings. The company is focusing on increasing the share of value added in specialty products. 
Now, <clears throat> Mr. Pawan Khaitan, he is the Vice Chairman and Managing Director. Mr. Sushil Kumar Khaitan, he is the Chief Executive Officer, Operations. The company's market value, market capital uh, is uh, at 1,165 crores. Current price is at 134 crores. Uh, high was 180, sorry, current price is 134 rupees. Uh, high, 52 week high is 180, 52 week low is uh, 63.2. Price earning, price earning uh, ratio is 8.92. Book value is 96.8. ROCE is low at 5. ROE is uh, further low at 1.59, face value is rupees 1. Now, if you look at its strengths and weaknesses, company has a high trailing 12 months uh, EPS growth, strong annual EPS growth also, good quarterly re revenue growth in the latest Q3 results. Uh, growth in uh, net profit and net profit margin the latest uh, quarter, quarter on quarter basis and year on year basis also. Revenue has been increasing in the last four quarters. Uh, profits have been increasing in the last two years. Company is able to generate uh, net cash. It is having fixed deposits also as we have seen. Company is now slowly trying to decrease the promoter's pledge. Still, existing pledge is high. FIIs are slowly increasing their holdings. Uh, on the negative side, the uh, last five years sales growth, if you see that, that is low. Uh, low return on equity. Company has, uh, uh, you know, pledges their 76.5 percent. Dividend payout is very, very low. Uh, working capital days have increased, <coughs> but price is increasing. Price is recovering from the 52-week low. <coughs> now let us take a look at the quarterly results, Q3 results. That's what we are interested in. How it has performed. Sales have increased to 351 crores from 341 crores in the previous quarter and just 230 crores uh, in the uh, year ago quarter. So good growth is there in sales. Where is 230 crores? Where is 351 crores? So year on year growth is very, very good. Operating profit margin is around 30% now. <coughs> Net uh, net profit has grown from just 4 crores a uh, year ago to 53 crores previous quarter and 57 crores in the latest quarter. So year on year basis the uh, <coughs> growth in net profit uh, is very very sizable. EPS on 1 rupee uh, it is now 6.56 year, year on year it was 0 0.46 earlier. Now it is 6.56. Very good. <coughs> if we look at the profit and loss uh, of uh, the last uh, four years, <coughs> sales increased from 793 in March 2019 to uh, 830 crores in uh, March to, uh, 2022 and uh, latest tra tra trailing 12 months is 1218. That's very good. Operating profit margin is at 24. Uh, net profit also has, uh, uh, but net profit increase is not that great. Quarter on quarter it is very good, but uh, four years ago it was 78, now it is 75. So, on year to year, year to year basis, uh, uh, there is no increase. Quarter, uh, the previous uh, year, 13, now 75. So this year on year, one year, there is increase. <coughs> Dividend payout is very, very low. <coughs> Compounded sales growth for the last three years is very minimum. 
but trailing 12 months it is 63 percent profit growth uh, was negative also earlier now it is uh, 365 percent in the latest uh, uh, year and quarter stock price uh, uh, there has not been any great increase it was never a multi bagger return on equity is very low <coughs> now balance sheet if you see the total liabilities uh, rather uh, borrowings if you see that it has been increasing from 365 crores in march 2019 to 662 crores in September 22. Of course, it is now trying to repay. Now, cash flows, uh, of course, it is uh, having good uh, uh, investments. Investments are being completed. After the investments are completed, the revenues and profits are likely to rise. Ratios, if you see, data days has come down, inventory days have come down, days payable has come down, cash conversion cycle has increased from 51 to 94. <coughs> Shareholding pattern after pledging, etc., etc., 76%, something like that, uh, from their own holdings. Promoters' hold, uh, uh, current holding is 70.31%. Uh, of that, Pledge is 76 percent. FIAs uh, have shown some interest 0.13 percent. <coughs> so, overall, uh, this uh, quantum papers has done well in the latest quarter and uh, likely to do well in the coming quarters also. If it, uh, if it really performs well in the coming quarters, its uh, price earning ratio may slightly increase. <coughs> uh, currently, it price, price is low, but uh, paper industry as a whole, price earnings are low. It is less than 10. Now, if uh, they are able to uh, get hold of good uh, raw material supply, easy raw material supply, I, in fact, I have given one uh, suggestion also in my previous uh, video. If uh, they can take the uh, uh, waste grass from uh, rice fields and uh, uh, wheat fields after they are harvested probably that will save a lot of uh, problems for the people of uh, uh, especially Punjab, Haryana etc. and Delhi people from air pollution etc. Now, the co companies will have to see that. I, of course, that can be implemented anywhere. It can be implemented in all places. That is one thing that these people will have to see. <coughs> then, price earnings may increase. So, regular supply at minimum cost. If that is there, uh, paper shares will have much uh, higher price. Thank you for listening. I will be back with you with another very good comment.